Hi everyone, hope you are doing well. So in this video, we will see how we can change the state of any UI component based on the user interaction. So if you know in the view based approach, like we create one XML with a background and where we defined a different item based on the state, like state pressed, state focused and default state. Okay, so now let's see how we can do the same in the compose. So we will navigate to the project and again do the same exercise. Here we will create one file, call it interaction screen. Okay, now again you will create one composable function. Now we will create one preview block for it. Now from this preview block, we will call this function. Okay. So by default, any clickable UI element have a default state. Uh, let's say button, it has a different state. So whenever we click or focus or hover. So today in this example, we will see like how we can provide an interaction state to the non-interactable elements. So what you will do, first you will create one background, let's say row. Here we will create a text. We will call it click me. Now here we will define modifier. First we will give a padding of 16 dp. So to provide an interaction, we need to create an interaction source. First we will create an interaction source. We need to keep it to remember block. So here we will write mutable interaction source. Okay, now we need to assign this interaction source to this particular UI element. First, we will assign this to a click property. We will use clickable. And here we will define an interaction source. This will be interaction source. Next, we need to define interaction. So we will use here default remember repel effect. Okay, now last parameter is we need to define click. So here we have defined for the click similar way. Now we can define for focusable also. So after this clickable, we can define focusable. And again, define the interaction source here. Similar way, we can define for hover also. Now you can see we have defined an interaction source for click, focus, and hover. Now we will just verify this on device. Uh, now here you can see we have this particular text and we have the background. Now if you notice here, when I hover to this particular content, we are seeing this particular background. Similar way, when I click on it, now you can notice we have this ripple effect. Okay. Now again. If I try to focus from external keyboard, so now you can see we are receiving this focus. Maybe what we will do, we will just remove this padding from here and add this padding to this particular element. Now, if you have noticed here, now we are receiving this focus. Similar way, when I try to do the same with external keyboard. Now, when I try to click on this particular button, you have noticed like we are able to display a ripple effect. Okay, so this way we can provide an interaction to a non interactable element. Okay, so now next, what we need to do so if we see here this interaction source, this interaction source tell us about different state. So let's say when user pressed or when user focus or whenever we receive hover or whenever we try to do drag. Okay, now let's say we want to change the color based on those interaction so what we will do so we can define a constant here let's say well focus state now this focus state you will get from this interaction source so now you can see here we are receiving a state so this state will change whenever we change the focus okay now here what we will do we will try to add a border to this particular layout Whenever user focus to this particular element, okay. Now we will use border. Now here you can see we can define width and color. So what we will do, if 
poker state dot value then it will have a border of 1 dp otherwise it will have a border of 0 dp okay we need to define width here now similarly we need to define a color so let's say color if focus state dot value so here we need to define color so we will use color dot blue otherwise it will be color dot transparent okay now we can just verify this on device so now you have noticed here whenever we do a focus we can see this blue background okay similar way we can change the background color also Uh, whenever user press this particular ui component we want to change the background so what we will do here similar way we can define a press state okay now if you see here when i press to this particular button we are able to see this red background otherwise it will have a transparent background so this way we can provide a different state to a non interactable element so that much for this video hope you like it in the next video we will see how to use vpager so stay tuned for further updates